everyone, Speedy Og here, and today we are going to be looking at the November Seasonal Hero trailer. Now, we got silhouettes last night, and honestly, I think everybody knows that the left is Zelgius. If it's not Zelgius, I'll be shocked. The right? I have no idea. I've heard tons of people say Perry. I personally thought it might be female Chris, but I don't even know anymore. It's going to be a shock to me, whoever it is. Anyway, I don't really have any hopes for this banner, like any wants, but um, let's check it out, see if there's any interesting characters. It's ninjas. There he is. It's it's Mr. Zelkius. At least he has the crimson armor. <laughs> the ninjas approach to combat is antithetical to my own. I've always I'll follow through. Wanted crimson armor Zelkius in heroes instead of like the the other color spoilers. I'm pretty sure Crimson Zelgius is not in the game. Oh my god, it is Heather! So someone in my chat said Heather. I am shocked that she is in the game. Wow. All I have to do is bat my eyelashes and the marks come running. I am not in love with that art, <laughs> but the re I I'm not in love with the face at least. The head looks weird to me, but the rest of rest of the art looks nice. Who's our demo gonna be? Demote is Reyna. Okay. Was this the silhouette? If you I think it was. I think this was the silhouette. My foes alive. It is a festival after all. Nice. I like the art. Attack speed, catch speed, defense rain. Okay. Scream for me. Oh my god. Yo, wait, that art looks insane. Makai and Sonaki. Who did this art? Is rather thrilling. Of course it's Kita Senri. Holy fun. shit. I know we have like a million Makayas, but that's actually so cute. Okay, I might try to pull her. I might try to pull her. <laughs> wow. That is adorable. It's Sonicy, so it's technically not another Makaya, right, guys? <laughs> okay, and she has the Ninja Corin. Gets another turn, like self dance. If she attacks, it looks like at a glance. This is your end. Damn! Did not expect that. What Stop the hell? Okay, and our free unit is a Saizo. A Lance Saizo. That's nice that he's finally getting an alt. Pyrotechnics! So let's check out the units. We got Zelgius here, a Lance Armor. Voiced by Robert Clotworthy, who has done these roles. Will you survive? And the artist is Hagia Keoru. I'm sure I butchered that name. I like this art a lot. I think his face looks really good. Like the, um, the way the eyes are drawn. I, I really like that. I like his lance, too. His lance looks dope. Delgius has the Scarlet Spear. Accelerate special trigger minus one, so it has Slayer. Unit attacks twice, so it has Brave. Even if foe initiates combat, unit attacks twice. Brave on enemy phase. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater or equal to 25%, grants attack plus X to unit and inflicts attack minus X on foe during combat. X equals 25% of foe's attack at the start of combat, minus two. Minimum six, maximum 16. Wow, that's... Really, a lot. <laughs> you could get... Wait, you could get 16 attack? That's insane. Okay. Reduces damage from attacks by 30% during combat. And restores 7 HP to unit after combat. Wow. Yeah, that's a... Uh, a lot. That's a lot. He has a new special, Lightless Luna. Wow, okay. <laughs> no. The absence of light is darkness. So, Lightless Luna. Treats foes defense and res as if reduced by 80% when special triggers... If units or foes special is ready or triggered before or during this combat, reduces damage from foes next attack by 40%. That's really good. A skill is Distant DR Solo. Unit can counterattack regardless of foes range. If units not adjacent to an ally, grants 5 defense res. Okay. 
That's nice. Special Fighter 4 and Assault Troop. So he's going to be a pain in the butt with that ridiculous movement on an armored unit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this kit looks pretty dang good. He's got tons of damage reduction between his special and his weapon. He's got, like, a potential plus 16 attack buff. I can't pause the video for some reason. <laughs> plus 16 attack buff. Slayer on Luna. Rave on enemy phase 2. You know, honestly, I wonder how fast he's going to be. I can't imagine. Oh, we could see his speed. 16. I was going to say, I this character has to be slower. It's going to be fucking busted, dude. What? Next, we have Heather. Now listen, I know Heather is a pretty divisive character. I happen to like her. However, I'm not in love with this art. Listen, I know it's not nice to like critique an artist like, ooh, what is this? It's it's nice overall. I just think the head like looks really big. Like with the like where the forehead is and where the the hair outline is, it just looks enormous to me. But it's okay. Heather could be a pumpkin head. Heather is a green dagger infantry voiced by Jennifer Caitlin Roberts was done these roles in the past. And the artist is Sayori Toyota, who has done these pieces of art for Faye. Personally, I don't recognize the name, but I'm sure they've done art for Faye. She does have her iconic cowl, I guess, like as her scarf. Looks good to me. I like it. Looking at Heather's stats, she is extremely fast. Okay, let's take a look at the kit. It looks pretty straightforward from what I saw. All right, so Spy Shuriken has Slayer. It has Brave. Uh, at start of combat, it doesn't have Brave on enemy phase, unlike Zelgius. Uh, so it has Brave if unit initiates. At start of combat, if unit's HP is greater or equal to 25%, grants 5 to all stats to unit during combat. If a rally assist skill is used by unit or targets unit, grants no follow-up to unit and target or targeting ally, and inflicts exposure on foes in cardinal directions of unit and target or targeting ally through their next actions. If a rally assist skill is used by unit, grants another action to unit. Ooh, she's got like the, what's her face, Sather? Or Hather? The, the p pigtails. You know who I'm talking about. If she rallies, she gets to go again. That's really nice. I don't know what exposure is, and I don't even know where to look it up. I'm sure there's something in the game that has like a glossary with all the terms, but I'm not even going to bother. I'm sure someone in the comments could help me out because you guys are so nice and awesome, right? She comes with rally attack speed plus remote sparrow. And speed defense ruse 4. Inflict speed defense minus 4 on foe during combat. If a rally assist skill is used by unit or targets unit, inflict speed defense minus 6. Guard, discord, and schism. A bunch of t terms I don't really... I don't remember what discord is, <laughs> but we're going to learn what schism is. On foes in cardinal directions of unit and target through their next actions. Schism neutralizes triangle attack, dual strike, and pathfinder effects active on unit through unit's next action. Unit is excluded from ally triangle attack and dual strike effects calculated using numbers of allies. When this status schism is neutralized, triangle attack, dual strike, and pathfinder effects are also neutralized. I'm sure this has some insane ether raids implications. For sure. Because triangle attack is probably still one of the most strong effects. Okay, nice. I like that she's kind of like an assist character that can also do damage. Here we have Reyna, our demote. Reyna is a green bow flyer voiced by S. Lamellon. I don't know if that's supposed to be a joke name. Like, I'm missing something. You know how, like, names, when you read them out, they sound like something else? That's what this seems like. <laughs> but I don't know if that's actually true. And the artist is Chico, who has done the Makayas. I know Chico has done, like, Sylvia and, um, the festival dancer Makaya, at least. Or, no, the original Makaya. The original Makaya, sorry. He looks really good, too. The bow's cool. I like the clouds on the bow. Reina is coming with the Kumo Yumi Plus. Seven Might. It has effective against flyers. Unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces. If unit initiates combat, unit attacks twice. At start of combat, if foe's HP is greater or equal to 75%, grants four to all stats to unit during combat. That is a crazy good weapon. What? <laughs> that is really good. That's better than a lot of archers PRFs right now. <laughs> so that's, that's a nice weapon to get. If you get some Reynas, you can't be upset about that. She also comes with Glimmer, Attack Speed Catch 3, and Speed Defense Rain 3. The catch is nice fodder primer, I guess. And then here we have another Makaya for Speedy. This art is just so gorgeous. Like, I'm only going to pull one copy of her, but damn, I am, I'm really happy with this. Sorry, Makaya fanboy here. The Sonicy 
This is Sonicy, guys. Is a red tome cav. Sonicy is voiced by Sarah Cravens, and Micaiah is voiced by Veronica Taylor, aka Ash Ketchum. And the artist is Kita Senri, who, you know, is the Tellius artist classic. Sonicy is coming with Radiant Scrolls. It has Canto Rem, uh, has Slayer. Unit attacks twice, even if foe initiates combat. So on enemy phase, she gets brave as well. If unit initiates combat or is within two spaces of an ally, inflicts attack res minus six on foe during combat, deals damage equals to Y during combat, and reduces the effect of foe's non-special reduced damage by X percent skills by percentage of Y times four during combat. Y equals highest total pen penalties among target and foes within two spaces of target. Example, if Y times four equals 64, a foe with a reduces damage by 45% skill would be <laughs> reduced to 17% instead. What is this math? It makes perfect sense, but this is not something you can do in your head. Like, most people can't do this in their head. Bust out the calculator. It's fey time. Okay, so she basically likes using penalties on foes, and she reduces damage reduction. Brave effect on both phases. Uh, inf inflicts minus 6 attack and res. And deals... Also deals damage according to penalties, too. That, that's a good effect. That's a really nice weapon. He has Iceberg. Layered Mirror. If unit initiates combat, deals 7 damage to foe as combat begins. So before she even hits them, it just does 7 damage. Effects that reduce damage during combat do not apply. Will not reduce foe's HP below 1. Okay. Grants attack plus 7, res plus 10 to unit during combat. And applies Divine Vein Flame. On five spaces in a line centered on foe's space, oriented left to right based on the direction unit is facing for one turn after combat. She also has Sabotage AR3 and Defense Res Ploy 3. All right, she's all about debuffing. Cool. Did we see her stat spread? She's got to be slow as sin, right? Okay, yeah, she's, she's super slow. 24 speed, but 47 res, 55 attack. And yes, her duo skill, Rance unit... Another action may be used only if unit has already entered combat. So we've we've had that before. But a very strong effect. And then, yeah, Saizo. We, we talked about him. I'm pretty... I don't know if he's infantry. He has to be infantry, right? 40 HP? Probably infantry. Maybe it'll be like Kumo Yumi for lances. That'd be pretty good, too. Do I like this banner? A lot of Tellius. Another Tellius seasonal banner. With some fates sprinkled in. I'm biased. I'm glad Heather's in the game. And, like, we have more than enough Makayas. But Sonicy getting an ult is nice. Zelgius, I like it. Reyna, she isn't in the game yet. It's nice that we got Reyna and a Saizo ult. I'm going to say I kind of like this banner. And I'm biased, so it's okay. So, yeah, I'm going to be pulling for Sonicy and Makaya for sure. Maybe try and snag a Reyna for that bow. Not sure yet. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I appreciate it. And best of luck to you if you're pulling on the ninja banner. So until next time, Feedy Hawk out. Catch you later.